I know we're definitely kind of getting out of the beach season, but there's yeah, still yeah. a lot of beach goers going and, and because we're at the peak of the tropical season, uh, it's something that we need to talk about. Still though, the air is drying out. It's getting more comfortable out and about. We have one wave that we're watching. It's this one here. 40% uh, chance of this could develop into a tropical depression over the next couple days and only raise to 50. Uh, this is one. This wave has been struggling, but the chance for it developing has gotten a little bit better gradually over the last couple days. The flat track I'll show you in a moment uh, does uh, certainly uh, make the folks that live in the Caribbean islands pay attention to this. There's another wave behind that National Hurricane Center at this time has uh, doesn't think that this one's got enough going for it to allow it to develop. But there is uh, a number of waves will be coming off of Africa in the coming days ahead. Uh, this one uh, will continue to move on a kind of a flat track. You can see why we're a little concerned of uh, Haiti and Jamaica, Isle of Hispaniola certainly could see some uh, some issues with that. Uh, Gulf of Mexico seems to be the most likely landing place for this. The good news is with this storm, it's not expected to develop much. And even though it could be a tropical depression, I think a tropical storm is, is most likely what we're going to see. Certainly much better than a major hurricane, especially given the track. And this could be the closest storm we've seen uh, to the U.S. coast in a number of months. If you've got beach plans this weekend, it's not going to bother you. We're looking and toward perhaps next week. There's a small rain chance at the southern beaches, Emerald Isle uh, to Myrtle Beach as we head into Sunday, uh, but temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s there uh, this weekend. Our temperatures here locally will be a bit cooler than that. Uh, we'll see temperatures Greensboro 61, a high point at 58 degrees this morning, a very comfortable start, and we'll start to bring our temperatures back up later on this afternoon. 50s in the mountains with a few spots in the 40s getting into Southwest Virginia with a steady push of dry air coming in out of the north and that's something to squeeze all that moisture toward the coastline. So nice high pressure really anchoring down the clear skies over really the eastern two thirds of the nation. You go all the way to the foothills of the Rockies before you start to find any significant cloud cover. Wall to wall sun for us today. North winds at five to ten. High temperatures should be around 80, but just shy of it. We'll be in the mid to upper 70s for uh, the bulk of the afternoon for several hours today. Great day to get outside and enjoy. Go to the park, get on the bike. Uh, less humid also for the foothills. High temperatures also up upper 70s this afternoon, a lighter north breeze for you. Temperatures in the mountains, lower 70s this afternoon. Northwest winds at 5 to 10. Uh, looking ahead, let's go past the seven day for a moment. We're expecting a dry week heading into next, middle to late next week, but we're also expecting warmer temperatures to begin building back in. This takes us to nearly the month of uh, the end of the month of September. Tropically, too, we're looking good uh, for the U.S. interests. I don't expect anything major to really affect U.S. interests through the end of September. Now you get in October and the season starts to wind down, so this could be a good season after all. Temperatures will be inching upward along with humidity this week, but I don't have a drop of rain on your seven day forecast.